Hey everybody, Mr. G here. Today we are going to uh, do another lab from Experiments in Basic DC Circuits, Theory and Application by David M. Bucklaw. Um, it's the 10th edition. Today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing lab number 12, which is on Thevenin's Theorem. So, what I'm going to be doing today is taking the measurements um, that are required for the lab. So basically, I will be getting you the information so that you can fill out table 12-1, table 12-2, and table 12-3. So these are the measured values that I'll be getting you. The computed values you are responsible for doing as far as, uh, as well as designing the circuits and answering the evaluation and questions at the end. So what we're going to be requiring for this uh, first part of the lab is one, two, three, four, five, six resistors. There are three resistors in the circuit um, and then there are three different loads. So if we looked at the circuit here, we've got a 10 volt power supply, resistor, resistor, resistor that's in the circuit and then our load is RL1 and we have RL1, RL2 and RL3 which we'll be swapping out. So first thing is required is to measure the resistance of each of the resistors that we have and the table 12-1 uh, we're going to be filling out those values. So Resistor R1, which is 270 ohms. We are measuring 265.2 ohms. Resistor 2, which is 560 ohms. We are measuring 553 ohms R3 which is 680 we are measuring 678 ohms Then we're going to look at RL1, which is 150 ohms. We are measuring 146. RL2, which is 470 ohms. We are measuring 461. And for RL3, it's supposed to be 820 ohms. We are measuring 815 ohms. So what we're going to do is we are going to build the first circuit. So we are looking at procedure one, which is measure and record the resistances we have done that construct the circuit in figure 12-2 so we are constructing this circuit here so from our power supply we're going to come in to that resistor there five sixty goes off of there So that's point A in the diagram. So we might as well use our ground. So this line here, this bus line here is going to be point B. So this is RL1, the first load resistor 
and it's going to go in here to there. So that's our circuit. So power supply is going to be connected here like this and then uh, this is going to be point A and point B for our measurements. So we've constructed the circuit. Use equivalent circuits below to compute the voltage across RL. Um, so you will do the calculations. What we're going to do now is I'm going to hook up the power supply and measure uh, the load voltage. Okay, so I'm going to do this part here. Load voltage 1, 2, and 3 for table dash 2. So right now this is load number 1. We have our power supply set up for 10 volts. It is going to go right here like this. And now I'm going to measure the voltage across that resistor. So, yeah, so I don't have to keep replacing my leads. I'm going to actually connect it from here up to here. So in theory, that's across that resistor, but rather than having to always disconnect my leads, okay? So the value of voltage that we're reading is 1.18, so 1.2 volts. So here, 1.2 volts, 1.18, 1.2. So now what we're going to do is we're going to swap out this resistor here and measure the same value. So I'm just going to pull it out. I'm going to put in RL2. So RL2, which is the 470 ohm resistor. I'm going to put it in the same spot. Its voltage is 2.75 volts. So that would be here, 2.75 volts. I'm going to pull this one out, put it there. And now I'm going to drop in place VL3, which is the 820 ohms, 3.75 volts. Okay, so 3.75 volts. So we've done that to measure our voltage. We're going to replace the resistors and measure the voltage and replace the resistor and measure the voltage. So we have done step three, step four, and step five. We are now going to remove the resistor from the, uh, the load resistor from the circuit. And you are going to calculate the open source from A to B. It's actually measuring as 7.17, so 7, approximately 7.2 volts. So 7.2 volts we'll use. So that's going here, V7 in, measured. Now, mentally replace the voltage source with a short circuit. So what I have to do is I have to take away the supply and put a short circuit here where the supply used to be. So I've completely removed the supply, put a short circuit, and if we're looking back in the circuit from A to B at the resistance, that will be Thevenin's resistance. So I'm going to set my meter to measure resistance. So Thevenin's resistance for this particular circuit is 744 ohms. So 744 ohms is Thevenin's equivalent resistance. So that would go here. 
So now what we're going to do is we are going to create Thevenin's circuit and then we're going to set it up so that Thevenin's circuit is equal to in, uh, in general forms the original circuit with respect to the load. Remember that's what Thevenin's circuit is. Thevenin's circuit is an equivalent circuit with respect to the load. So what that means is from the original circuit to the Thevenin circuit all of the load currents, all of the load voltages will remain the same in both circuits. That's how it's equivalent. So what we're going to do is I'm going to disconnect this circuit and then I'm going to set it up for Thevenin's circuit. All right, folks. So now what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing Thevenin's equivalent of our original circuit. So our original circuit was here. We have figured out what the Thevenin voltage is and what the Thevenin equivalent resistance is. So what I've done is I've set up this potentiometer. We measured Thevenin's equivalent resistance at approximately 744 ohms. So I have this potentiometer set up so that we have it at approximately 740 ohms. So we'll just double check the resistance of that. So I'll set up for resistance. So 740 ohms. So we're good with that. So that's going to represent our Thevenin's resistance. So we're going to put that in there like that. And this is going to be where we're going to connect our power supply. So we had measured Thevenin's voltage to be approximately 7.2 volts. So what I've done is I've changed my power supply. So I'm just going to measure that voltage just to make sure. So I've set my power supply to be 7.2 volts. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect it here and we are going to connect it here. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the same load resistor values and popping them into the circuit and measuring the exact same values as what we did before. So we're down to table 12-3 now. So what we did is 12-2 was the original circuit and we measured these values. Now what we're going to do is create Thevenin's equivalent, which was what we've done. We've got Thevenin's equivalent voltage, Thevenin's equivalent resistance, and we're going to pop in the same value of loads and measure the same things. If these circuits are truly equivalent, these measurements should be the same as these measurements. Okay, so again, these measurements here should be the same as these measurements. So what we're going to do is we're going to build the circuit, set it all up. So now we are uh, at step number eight. You are going to draw Thevenin's equivalent. Step number nine, we are going to, or you're going to uh, calculate the values of voltage for the Thevenin equivalents. And then we're going to construct. So we're at the constructing stage 10 and we are going to put in our load resistors. So the first load resistor is the 150 ohm resistor and I'm going to pop it in here and down to here. So now that I don't have this or I have the circuit built and I don't have to keep swapping things out, here's what I'm going to do is I am just going to connect my lead here and here for my meter. So all I have to do is just swap out the resistor and not have to disconnect everything. So I'm going to take the low resistor across the load like so. And what I'm going to be measuring is voltage. And here we go. So the voltage across 
The load in Thevenin's circuit for load number one is 1.19 volts. Now take this out. I will put in the second resistor. Here's the second resistor going in. So it's a second load resistor VL2. 2.8 volts, so 2.78 volts. So that would be there. I'm going to pull that resistor out and pop in the last resistor. Pop in the last resistor and we have 3.8 volts approximately. So those values equal those values with a little bit of experimental error. What we're missing now is Thevenin's voltage and Thevenin's resistance as measured values. Thevenin's voltage, I'm just going to pull out the resistor and measure it. There it is, 7.24 volts. That's right there. And then Thevenin's resistance, I am just going to measure it one last time. So I'm going to pull out my power supply and I'm just going to measure resistance across that potentiometer again. Set up for resistance. Thevenin's equivalent resistance 7.39, so 7.4 or 740 ohms. So 740 ohms, approximately 7.2 volts, and all of these values theoretically should match all of these values. So that is experiment number 12, Thevenin's equivalent theory. So what we've done is we have taken an original circuit, created Thevenin's, and compared the original load measurements. So again, Thevenin's equivalent is with respect to load measurements. So we've taken the original load measurements and we have compared them to Thevenin's equivalent load measurements and they are the same. So all that's left for you, some calculations, some circuits, and some questions. So I hope this was helpful. Everybody take care, and we'll see you again next time.